hello students good morning today we are going to learn grade 4 lesson number 1 adaptation in plants with the help of a concept map in this chapter we are going to learn that how the plants have adapted themselves according to different habitats habitats means home remember h for habitat h for home and there are two types of homes or habitats mean one is terrestrial terrestrial means animals or plants that live on land aquatic plants that live in water according to that the terrestrial plants are divided into seven categories number one desert as the name indicates these plants are adapted themselves to live in deserts second the examples are cactus and palm second one is hills Hills, as you know that hills are the top most like somewhat like mountains. Okay, so here these uh, plants are found are called Kedar Pine. Marshes, marshes are the areas which are near a swampy area. Swampy means a place which is full of water and mud. So examples are mangrove and mangroves are also having breathing roots. And another example is cattail. Next is plains. Plains are the places like where we, we people are living. We are living on land and we are also living on plains. So these plains uh, can be again subdivided into two categories that is deciduous and evergreen. Deciduous are the plant which shade the leaves during winter and get the new leaves in the spring season. Evergreen trees are the trees that do not shade the leaves. They don't shade the leaves. The next is forest. Forest as you know that forest are also known as jungle. And forest examples of forest are sandalwood, rosewood. You can include some more examples. These are just common examples that I have taken here. Next is grasslands. Grasslands you know that savanna it's in Africa, South Africa which is very famous forest grasslands. And grasslands the land where only grasses grows. So examples of grasslands are foxtail and rye grass. Then the next category comes is coastal regions. Coastal regions as the name indicates they are near the coast. Coast means sea coast. Means somewhere water areas are there. The examples are coconut and rubber. Next we are moving toward the aquatic animals. Aquatic sorry aquatic plants aquatic plants they live in water they are subdivided into three categories floating plants fixed plants underwater or submerged plants it means underwater are also known as submerged plants floating plants examples are pistia which is also known as water lettuce wolfia which is also known as duckweed floating plants they float on water they do not have any roots very they have roots but that roots are almost non-functional because they float on water then fixed plants fixed plants they have the uh, water uh, they have the roots which are deep inside plus their outer parts are also visible above the water so examples are water lily and lotus Underwater plants, as I said, they are totally under the water. It means they are inside water. So, totally they are submerged in water. So, examples are hydrilla and tape grass. Tape grass is also known as valisneria. Now, let us summarize what we have learned. In this chapter, we have learned that plants adapt to their surroundings. Means they uh, adapted themselves according to their surroundings. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Definitely the, and the plants that are growing on land, land are called terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants grow in deserts, hills, marshes, plains, forests and grasslands. Some types, some trees keep their leaves throughout the year. They are called evergreen. While some shade their leaves in winter and grow new leaves in spring are called deciduous plants or trees. Plants such as mangrove which grow in marshy areas have breathing roots. Breathing roots it means their roots are under the soil which does not have much air. 
for example clay soil so these plants they grow in the soil which is having clay soil which is muddy where they are not getting enough amount of air to breathe so these plants have adapted themselves to have the breathing roots the plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants aquatic as the name indicates aqua wherever the word comes aqua it is related to water okay aquatic plants can be floating fixed and underwater plant i hope you like the video and i i hope it you found it useful thank you